GitHub has more than 400 million repositories, but there are 10 repositories that every programmer must know. From programming roadmaps to what projects to build, these repositories cover everything. You will also learn how to prepare for coding interviews and how to find free public APIs for your projects. Without wasting any time, let's get into it. Building projects is hands down the best way to learn programming. But here's the thing. People are always asking me for project recommendations. They want ideas that are challenging enough to push their skills, but not so complex that they give up in the middle. That's where Build Your Own X repository comes in. This repo is a goldmine of well-written step-by-step guides for recreating popular technologies from scratch. Want to build your own cryptocurrency? It's in there. Curious about how operating systems work? You can build one yourself. If you're curious about how a search engine works, you can create that too. By following these guides, you're not just copying code. You're gaining deep insights into how these technologies work under the hood. It's like taking apart a computer and putting it back together. By the end, you know exactly how every piece fits and functions. As a beginner in tech, it's very easy to get overwhelmed. There are so many different technologies, languages and frameworks you can learn. Where do you even start? For example, let's say you want to learn DevOps. What's the first step? What skills do you need to master? This is where developer roadmap repo becomes your guiding light. It's not just a static list of skills to learn. These roadmaps are interactive. You can click on notes to dive into specific topics. For example, if you want to become a front-end developer, there is a roadmap for that. Interested in backend? They have got you covered. Android development, iOS development, DevOps, they have a roadmap for everything. But it doesn't just stop at advanced stuff. They even have roadmaps for fundamentals like Git and Linux. Computer science is a vast field. Sometimes it feels like you need to know everything under the sun to be a good programmer. But here's the truth. While you cannot know everything, there are some basics that every programmer needs to have in their toolkit. That is exactly what the Every Programmer Should Know repo focuses on. It's a curated collection of computer science essentials. You will find resources on distributed systems that will help you understand how large-scale applications work. There is a cheat sheet for Big O that will make algorithm analysis very easy. But it's not all theoretical. This repo also covers practical skills. If you struggle with regular expressions like me, they have got an easy way to learn regex. This repo is not just about coding, they have also got tips on negotiating your salary. Book recommendations are great, but let's face it, programming books can be very expensive. That's why whenever I recommend books, the very first question I get is, can I get these for free? The free programming book repo is the answer to that question. This repo has free resources to learn any technology that you can imagine. Want to dive into React.js? They have got a book for that. If you're curious about Rust, you will find resources for that as well. From Haskell to Hadoop, this repo has books covering everything in the programming world. But it doesn't just stop at books. You will also find a list of free online courses. If you need a quick reference, they have cheat sheets as well. And the best part is that all of this is free. When it comes to coding interviews, algorithms are the bread and butter. Whether you are just starting out or you are a seasoned pro looking to switch jobs, you need to have a solid understanding of the algorithms. That's where the algorithms repo comes in handy. Whenever I am gearing up for coding interviews, this is my go-to resource for revising algorithms. What makes this repo special is that it doesn't just explain the algorithms. It implements them in various programming languages. Python, Java or Go. Whatever your preferred language is, you will find implementations there. It covers all the classics, sorting, searching, you name it. But it does not stop there. You will find implementations for more advanced concepts like greedy algorithms and dynamic programming. All popular algorithms that you might need are available in this one repo. After learning these algorithms, you would want to practice some interview style problems. I have created a list of 100 problems that you should start with. I'm also adding new solutions to these problems every week. I will leave a link to this sheet along with all the GitHub repos down below. Mastering algorithms is important, but it's only one piece of the puzzle when it comes to landing a great software engineering job. There are many other aspects that are equally important. That's where the Tech Interview Handbook repo shines. This repo covers all those aspects of job hunting that you might not think about when you are knee-deep into the coding practice. If you need tips on writing a resume that catches a recruiter's eye, it's in there. How to tackle those tricky behavioral questions? They have got you covered, but do not worry. They have not forgotten about the technical stuff. You will find best practices for coding interviews and even algorithm cheat sheets. 
If you hate lead code, this next repo is for you. Many people think that learning data structure algorithms and grinding lead code is the only way to get a software engineering job. That's not true. Many companies test job related skills instead of asking you to solve some coding puzzles. To find these companies, search for this repository called Hiring Without Whiteboard on GitHub. This repo has a list of companies that don't use lead code style interviews. Some popular companies in the list are Square, Slack and Airtable. It also shows you which countries they hire in. This means that you can pick companies that hire in your location. If you want to filter these companies, you can use the Airtable that they have provided. Once you have selected a company, click on the company name and it will directly take you to their careers page. I think you can take it forward from here. As you progress in your career, the nature of your interviews changes. In the early stages, it's all about coding interviews and behavioral questions. But as you climb the ladder and aim for the senior positions, you also need to crack system design interviews. Some people also call these high-level design interviews. But whatever name you use, they are an integral part of the interview process for mid to senior roles. This is where the system design primer repo comes in. This repo is like a crash course on large scale system architecture. It covers all the basics like load balancing, caching, and the difference between SQL and NoSQL databases. But it goes beyond that. If you have ever wondered what's the difference between TCP and UDP or what sets RPC apart from REST, this repo will break it all down for you. But here's the best part. It doesn't just deal with theory. It provides case studies for real world architectures. If you want to know how Instagram handles its massive user base or how Netflix delivers smooth video streaming to millions of users, this repo gives you a peek under the hood of all these tech giants. Whenever you are building projects, you need data to work with. This is where APIs come in handy. An API or application programming interface is like waiting staff in a restaurant. You, the customer does not need to go to the kitchen to cook their meal. Instead, you will tell the waiting staff what you want and they bring it to you. Similarly, an API allows your application to request specific data from a server without needing to know all the complex details of how that data is stored or processed. Now finding the right API can sometimes feel very challenging. That's where the public APIs repo comes to the rescue. This repo is like a comprehensive directory of APIs. Let's say you need stock market data for your finance app. There's an API for that. Let's say you're building a weather app. You will find an API that gives you weather data. One of the cooler APIs that I found in this repo was the one that lets you get the location of a website visitor based on their IP address. Whether you are building a small project or a larger application, this repo might have an API that fits your needs. It has become my first stop whenever I am starting a project and need some data to work with. Next, we have Free Code Camp repository. Now you might be familiar with Free Code Camp from their very popular YouTube channel. Their tutorials have helped countless developers level up their skills. But what many people don't realize is that their GitHub repo is equally helpful. This repo is packed with learning materials that can take you from a newbie to job ready developer. For example, if you want to learn web development, they have resources that will guide you towards building some really cool projects. For the backend, you can also learn Node with Express. They have also got tutorials on MongoDB and Mongoose. The best part about these resources is that they are not just theoretical. They are hands-on, project-based learning materials that will help you build real functional applications. Most of these resources will take you to their official website where you can work through the material at your own pace. That's all from me today. Do not forget to check out the list of top 100 interview problems. My name is Sahil and I'll see you in the next one.